but let's talk a little bit about the uh, situation of physicians in the state mm -hmm. and the shortage of physicians in the state. And, and I know that uh, when I attend the League of Arizona Cities and Towns conference mm -hmm. each year, uh, my colleagues from the rural areas come in and they're always looking for ways to enact mm -hmm. legislation to force more physicians to stay and work in Arizona. Well, that's never going to work, but it is a real problem. And if you could address that, I think it would be interesting for our viewers. Oh, I would love to. The state of Arizona truly is lagging in physicians. If you look at every 100,000 people that live here, our residents, the typical state has a minimum of 250 physicians for every 100,000. Okay. Okay? Got it. In Arizona, we are at about 220 for every 100,000. But what's worse is when we look at the rural areas, mm. we only have 133 physicians, if that, mm -hmm. for the entire 100,000 people that might live in a rural area. So the shortage is very severe. It is. And one of the things Midwestern's been working really hard at is trying to build more rural residency programs. You know, as you and I know, a medical student goes to four years of a very difficult curriculum. And they graduate, and then they go into a minimum of three years, and sometimes more, mm -hmm. into a residency. Well, the state of Arizona is short those residencies. So Midwestern has been going out and we've been working really hard in rural areas to start up residency programs, thinking if our graduates went to Sierra Vista, right, right. or if they go up, we have a residency up in Tuba City. We have a residency in Kingman. And by starting those residency programs, we bring our graduates to the area, mm -hmm. and they hopefully fall in love with those rural towns and stay to practice. So our efforts have been working very closely to get residency programs throughout the state. What could I tell my colleagues, and, and you're right, I mean, we have a phenomenal state, and, and what you're describing kind of puts us back, puts me back in the mind of years ago when we had the town doctor and, yeah. and so forth, but what could I tell my colleagues, the other mayors, um, that they could do to help foster these residency programs because they're all very, very worried yeah, about should. medical care yeah. in their communities? I think that they need to work closely with their hospital partners. And if there is a, a hospital in their area, they need to find out how willing would be some of the physicians and the staff to begin mm -hmm. a residency. And maybe with some encouragement to be open-minded and look at what are the benefits of residency to bring new physicians into right. the community, they might be more willing to look very hard at what are the opportunities. And real quickly, now, if the hospital has closed, because I look about a minute till break, but if the hospital in the area has closed, is there still opportunity for residencies in those areas? Well, if there's no hospital, it becomes very difficult very to good. do a residency. Yeah. But one of the things we're doing now is even in our large multi-specialty clinic, we've started a residency because it's a new model that we can train someone in a clinic-based, and we're going to see if, in fact, that's an effective long-term However, we still have to partner with a hospital, hospital. for some of yeah. the outreach rotations.